the first time that we've been able to talk to Gerald Salenti in a month already. And he is a man of uh, extraordinary insight. And as you well know by now, Gerald doesn't mince words. And he tells it exactly like it really is. Really do everything you can to protect yourself for what's coming ahead. No joke. It may be war. It will definitely be, we believe, a economic catastrophe. Protect yourself, your family, your livelihood. Do everything you can now. We, it, this isn't about fear. It's about empowerment. Because we also believe they're going to take us to war. And we're listening very closely to what Fidel Castro said last week. That if anybody thinks that the United Nations and the United States and the rest of its allies are going to board Iranian ships to find out what's on them, they're out of their minds. They are out of their minds. They're not going to let them do it. No, no. You're right. It's going to be a provocation. Sure it is. There might be uh, a mid-level American city, uh, a low-level nuke, a dirty bomb, whatever, kill 10,000 people, and the mainstream media, the, the insane corporate-owned mainstream media mind control mass manipulator will go over time and basically order Americans to... Res- We've got to go back and take care of business. We didn't finish it last time in the Middle East. We're going to do it now. You got it's, it. They've, they've put, those poor Iraqis, have you folks been watching? They're living like third-world people now, and they were under Saddam Hussein. Like him or not, matters nothing. None of our business. That's right. None of our business. And all you leaders out there, start leading the troops, Hillary. You, Bill, little Chelsea, and that guy that she just married from the criminal family. Go into Vietnam, of all places, where they sacrificed 60,000 lives of American soldiers, 300, 500,000 wounded, millions killed, and now they're doing a deal with Vietnam. They're our strategic ally, and she's saying that the dispute between Vietnam and China on those islands in the South China Sea are of U.S. national interest. Who is she to say this? This old windbag. By the way, as you were talking about this radical Islam, hey, who are the people that created it? They wanted to defeat the, uh, the, the, the Soviets in Afghanistan, and they're the ones that supported Saddam Hussein and the Mujahideen. I know, I know. They call them freedom fighters. I'm very concerned we're going to war, and we're trying to do everything we can to stop it before it happens. Well, I wish I could look to our so-called leadership in Washington to be responsive. No, we have to look to each of us. That's right. And each of us has to do everything we can spiritually, emotionally, and physically, only the strong are going to survive this coming greatest depression. People start better getting in shape. You're better in every way possible. Whether, you know, I meditate every day. I may sound like I go off the wall. You know, I'm in control as much as I can be. And I want to stay balanced and clear. And I eat clean food. That's why you're so effective, Gerald. That's what key, your mind is brilliant. And if you ate trash and didn't take care of yourself with meditation, or whatever it is you folks do who are on the road to inner enlightenment, lead by example, folks. And to succeed, we all have to be in the best shape we can. As I said, spiritually, emotionally, oh, yeah. and physically. And don't and forget be morally. prepared for what's yeah. coming ahead. Because only the strong are going to survive. Those that are looking for the government to bail them out, help them in any way, better grow up. The government's not going to bail you out, folks. They're going to bury you. You got it. Uh, Amen. uh, Gerald Salenti, the world's number one trends forecaster. Trendsresearch.com.